All right, Shalom Makiam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. In accordance to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Um, shalom to all you beloved brethren out there, pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters, and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, and the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for this opportunity, this Holy Spirit, and the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. And um, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for all you beloved brethren, man. So I'm gonna jump right into it, dealing with um, you know, defending the twelve tribe chart, which you can see Judah, Benjamin, Levi consists of the Southern Kingdom, the Negroes, West Indians, and Haitians. Then you got the Northern Kingdom: Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar. Dealing with the tribes of Dominican Republic. Um, that's Simeon. Uh, the so-called Dominicans, Zebulon, from Guatemala to, to Panama. Then you're dealing with Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. Uh, Manasseh, the so-called Cubans. The Gad, the so-called North American Indians. Reuben, the, uh, the Simo Indians, so-called. Naphtali, this is the tribe I want to um, um, gear into today. Dealing with from Argentina to Chile in South America. Asher from Colombia to Uruguay. All right. So-called Colombians to Uruguay. That, that whole area over there in South America. And Issachar. That last but not least, shout out to the tribe of Issachar. So-called Mexicans. So Naphtali. <clears throat> All right. Who we believe those people of the of the uh Central and South America, all the all the Jakes that's going over there, those are Israelites. And um from, from Argentina to Chile. So we're dealing with um some old history here. <clears throat> the real Tupac. <laughs> Biography of Tupac Amaru, the last of the Incan lords, ran to his information online. All right. And how did our people get over here to the uh to South and Central America? Dealing with the prophecies, according to the Holy Bible. Okay? That was prophesied to the to uh, Jacob's sons, which, which shall befall them. In the last days, as then with our captivities, they happened to the um, the Southern Kingdom slavery, and what happened to the um, the Spanish-speaking tribes, all right, the native tribes from the conquistadors to the English, and the French, the Dutch, so on and so forth. Man, Esau, an evil uh, fraternal brother, Esau, but these things were, um, you know was already prophesied in the scriptures through the Holy Spirit to happen because of our disobedience to our God. But it's, it's all about prophecy being fulfilled. But here we are again today. We have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and the Most High is gathering the elect through this Holy Word, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says Tupac Amaru. You know, you got that rapper, that's who he's named after. This is the real Tupac. Tupac! <laughs> Inside joke. 1545, September 24th, 1572, was the last of the indigenous rulers of the Inca. He ruled during the time of Spanish occupation and was ex executed by the Spanish, dealing with Edomites, after the final defeat of the ne Neo-Incan Empire. All this bullshit. And um, Salaki for all that, those pictures. It says, Fast Facts, Tupac Amaru, known for the last indigenous ruler of the Inca, also known as Tupac Amaru, Tupo Amaru, Thupa Amaru, Tupac Amaru, and Thupac Amaru. You know, different ways to spell it. Got his, his born, his date, he was born 1545. Got his parents and he died September 24, 1572. 
when you have one son. Okay? It's early life, Tupac Amaru, a member of the Incan royal family, grew up in the Incan convent, Velcabamba, the religious university of the Incans. As a young adult, he was against the Spanish occupation and rejected Christianity, their form of Christianity. The Israelites are the real Christians. <clears throat> the Edomites use our, our, our book, our text against us. Okay? Indigenous Incan leaders supported him because of that background. When the Spanish arrived in the Andes in the early 1530s, they found a wealthy Incan empire in turmoil. Feuding brothers, Atalupa and Huscar, rule over two halves of the mighty empire. There's nothing new underneath the sun. You go into the Book of Kings, it's the same thing that was going on in the Northern Empire. Okay, Jake was killing each other, division, all kinds of stuff. Okay, from that split that happened because of King Solomon. So whose car was killed by Atalupa's agents? And Atalupa himself was captured and executed by the Spanish, who were the Edomites. Effectively, and in the time of the Inca, the, the brother of Atalupa and whose car, Manca, Inca, Yai, Panquai, managed to escape with some loyal followers and establish himself head of the small kingdom first as first at Ol Antatambu and later in Valcabamba. All right. <clears throat> you know, this is some good history and stuff, man. You could you know you could look this up. But the point is these are our people. I don't want to keep reading. You could actually look this up online. The biography of Tupac Amaru, the last of the Incan lords. And that's what he looks like. Okay, so the point is, this is all based upon biblical prophecy. <clears throat> Dealing with the 12 tribes and the, the area that they possess during the Incan rulership. Okay, so you're dealing with the Incans and the Mayans and the Aztecs. Those are three particular tribes. That was dominating South America before this, uh, the the the, um, the influx of the Southern Kingdom from Judah, Benjamin, Levi from the West Coast of Africa, which came later on the the, the 1800s, 1700s, so on and so forth. Okay, so how did our people get over here, and how did how did they establish such great empires? It's go it goes back to them being the Israelites. All right. Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 30. I mean, second Ezra chapter 13, verse 40. We'll start at verse 39. And whereas thou sawest that he gathered another peaceable multitude unto himself, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land, the ten tribes. In the time of Hosea, the king, whom Shalaman, Shalaman, Shalaman Nazar, the king of Assyria led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. So, to show you the map, <clears throat> during the time of the Assyrian captivity of the northern kingdom, out of the land of Israel, Jerusalem, and they carried them into this, this part of the area in the Middle East. Right? You, you know, close to Iraq, Babylon. Right, give you the the, oh, the people that were in, in charge at that time. Tig 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 Palazar the third, and he got a deportation on the Shalmanazar the fifth, Sargor the second. Around this time frame, <clears throat> okay. So that particular scripture is dealing with this. This is the another land where where our people was carried into, out of Jerusalem, okay. Plain and simple. All right. Carry them over the water so they came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they might leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. You're dealing with the Americas, which they call the Americas today, Central America, South America, and those different islands. You got Jamaica, 
what they call Jamaica today, Dominican Republic, St. Kitts, all in different islands were, were first controlled by the indigenous tribes of the Northern Kingdom of Israel. Facts. Okay? All facts. All right? And go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. We um on, on during the time of, of King Solomon, um, we he had ships and he sent um oh what's that guy, man? He had a, what they call the Phoenicians. Forgot forgot the, the exact uh name of those people, but they, they came over here and they left statues like you're dealing with the Omex and all that. Those were Hamites. So they just came over here to uh to gather goods for King Solomon. You know, animals, goods, gold, spices, but nobody was living over here. So we knew um, of this part of the of the world during the time of King Solomon. So that's how our people knew this history was passed down unto them. That they might there keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. So um, when when our, our four, I mean our ancestors, the Northern Kingdom came over here, they were keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, and they enter into the Euphrates by the narrow place of the river, and this map show you the Euphrates, right? <clears throat> Euphrates River, right here, and they went all the way down, um, into the Horn of Africa, and came all the way over here. It took them about a year and a half. These maps to show you, man. All you gotta do is look this information up. Okay, what, what we telling you is accurate and is one hundred percent through the Holy Spirit. All right. For the Most High then showed signs for them, and hell stole the flood till they were passed over. The Lord had the angels out there um, guiding them, you know, um, and and still the in, in that that area that the waters dealing with the oceans, man. Rough waters, the most high, you know, held back, uh, you know, dealing with thunderstorms and all types of crazy stuff to be going on out there, man, to make it a safe, uh, easy passage for our brothers and sisters to come over here. All right. But not all the Northern Kingdom came over here. You had a good amount of them stayed back in, in um in Israel, not in Israel, in um that escaped and came back to, to, to the south. There's information on that in the scriptures. For through that country, there was a great way to go, namely for a year and a half. And the same region is called Osareth, which you're dealing with the Americas today. Then dwelt they there until the latter time, and now when they, they shall begin to come. So this is the area of the tribe of Natali, you know. And today, mainly, they got reduced to Argentina and to Chile. But during the Incan Empire, this is where they dwell at, man. Okay? So the green part is mainly by Haina Kapak. Kapak. And Tupac. Inca, you see, you look by... So you dwell, they were dwelling in um, Asher land as well. That was a big empire. So you got the Mayans and the Incans. They were all mixed up together. You had territory wars. And, you know, they started to kill each other. And various other things. So now you go into the... Um, what else I want to show from here? That was pretty much it. You go into the prophecies that befell our people from our forefather Yaikwab. It says Israel's prophecy concerning his sons. G Genesis 49 and 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourself together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Let's give a translation comparison real quick. In the days to come. <clears throat> yeah, the days to come. But you know that happened, you know, these things befell us in our captivities. All right, <clears throat> so you're dealing with the uh, tribe of Naphtali, okay? It says, uh, Naphtali is a hind let loose. He give a goodly word. So hind let loose is dealing with people of the field, 
you know, the Argentinian cowboys, the gauchos, so on and so forth. They give it goodly words. They are friendly people. So we have a, a beloved brother out here in the West. You know what I'm saying? The Northern brothers, they're deep out here, man. Shalom to the brothers, man. It was good seeing them brothers on on, on the night of the, of Pasak. You got the uh, the elder brother from um, Dallas, you know, still in town. Shalom to them brothers. Whew, the love. I felt the love, man. <laughs> Beautiful spirits, man. So you give it goodly words. Friendly people, man. Our brother, uh, when we moved in here, you got the brother, uh, Yawanathan. Zebulon, man, our brother crazy, man. That's a beautiful brother. <laughs> they donated a lot of stuff for us. Furniture, TV. That beloved brother from the tribe Naphtali he gave us like dishes and you know, the brothers, you know, brought it to, to the crib and they, they they brought it in the house and set it up for us, man. So so call out the water Yahweh I was shy for these brothers, man. For real, for real. So now you cross reference. <clears throat> Cross reference this Deuteronomy 33 and 23. And it says, And of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor, for with the blessing of Yahweh, possess thou the west and the north. So you're dealing with what? When the tribes came over here around 724 BC. So this particular tribe possessed the lands in the Western Hemisphere of South America. That's what that's talking about. The othermost part of South America, from Argentina to Chile. All right, back in the old, old world, they possessed of the northern part of Israel. So that's not dealing with the land it was, they possessed in, in, in the old world when we were in the land of Israel. This, this prophecy is dealing with what happened to us, you know, when we came over here, when our, when our ancestors, our four, you know, our brothers and sisters that came over here. This is the part of the world they possess. Right? Right here, man. <clears throat> but during the Inca Empire, this is how, that's how long it stretched. So... They're there in the, the territory. They stretch all the way into the territory of the tribe of Asher as well. Dealing with Ecuador, Peru, you know, this area. Colombia. That's the tribe of Asher. Ecuador, Peru. You know, but Naphtali is all the way down here. It says, possess what? It says, possess thou the west and the south. So read that one more time. They came over here in the Western Hemisphere of South America. Look at that. You can't, you can't get past this, man. All right. And I got some, some, you know, some tribal stuff I want to show you as well. Now you're dealing with the uh the pains of the Incan kings that Esau, you know, stole, you know. Dealing with royalty, man. How they get, they got their scepter in their hands. Can't really see the names. But, where did, you know, how did they possess this type of royalty? Because they were Israelites. They are Israelites. Right? The kings of the north. I had a better picture than this. Bear with me, brothers and sisters out there. You can find all this information on Pinterest. You know? <clears throat> But here's another one. That's a, uh, is that that dude um, Atalupe, Atalupa, Atalupa. All right, you can find his information on Pinterest. All right, Inca Empire. Okay, so you got his scepter and all that stuff. The beautiful garments. Why is that? Because they're royal people. We are royal people. So the Lord is gathering us through the Holy Word, the gathering of the saints for the elect's sake, man. I had another picture, man. Hold on for a second. This is another, this is another good one right here. Like I said, the Inca Empire, you had you're dealing with the tribe of Asher and the tribe of um Naphtali. 
That's why I showed you that, that map of where Naphtali mainly controlled. Okay? So this is another picture of them, man. You know, this was uh this is that X Aztec. Yeah, here it is. This is a good one right here. See? Royal royal garments, man. That dress code came from our ancestors. Look at that. And let's see which which Jake is this. Hold on for a second. Right. So yeah, the Incan portrait of Atalupe. And the garments, man. These we are those people. We are those people. So you're dealing with the tribe of Asher and the tribe of Naphtali, man. That was part of this empire right here. But Naphtali, <clears throat> this is where they control. And when you saw with that green, right? Dealing with this one, Jake, that controlled this area. Yuha Na Kapak. So you're dealing with the Tupac brother. Areas he control. It's right here. You know, those are the tribes, man. The biography of Tupac Amaru, the last of the Incan lords. So, Lord willing, is an edifying lesson. Give no praise to Yahweh Shimia Washai and the body Yahweh Shimia Washai. Shalom.